Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel All About Electronics. So in this question, we have been given the comparator based circuit, and here we have been asked to find the time at which the output of this comparator will become low. So here to solve this question, you should have the knowledge of the transient analysis as well as the comparator. So as you know, depending on the voltage at the input terminals, the output of the comparator will be either high or low. So if the voltage at this positive terminal is more than the negative terminal, then the output of the comparator will be high. Or on the other end, if the voltage at this inverting terminal is more than the voltage at this non-inverting terminal, then the output of the comparator will be low. So here at this inverting terminal, the voltage is applied through the voltage divider. So whatever voltage which is appearing over here, the same voltage will appear at this inverting terminal. Let's say the voltage at this inverting terminal is equal to V minus. So this V minus is equal to 400 kilo ohm divided by 400 kilo ohm plus 600 kilo ohm times 5 volt. And if you calculate, then this V minus will come out as 2 volt. That means the voltage at this end is equal to 2 volt. Similarly, let us find the voltage at this positive terminal. So here initially this switch was in the closed condition. That means at t is equal to 0 minus if you see the condition of the circuit, then the switch was in the closed condition. And since the circuit was in this condition since a long time, so we can say that initially the circuit was already in the steady state condition. And therefore, at t is equal to 0 minus, this capacitor will act as an open circuit. That means at t is equal to 0 minus, if we see the voltage across this capacitor, then it will be the same as the voltage across this resistor. So in this condition, if you see the voltage across this resistor, then we can find it with the help of the voltage divider. Because here, since the comparator is the ideal comparator, so no current is flowing into this comparator. And therefore, just using the voltage divider, we can easily find the voltage across this 5 kilo ohm resistor. So in this case, the current is flowing in this way. So let's say the voltage across the capacitor at t is equal to 0 minus is equal to Vc0 minus. So this Vc0 minus is equal to 5 kilo ohm divided by 5 kilo ohm plus 1 kilo ohm times 5 volt. So basically, it is the voltage across this 5 kilo ohm resistor and that is equal to this 25 divided by 6 volt. That means initially at t is equal to 0 minus the voltage at this non inverting terminal of this comparator is equal to 25 divided by 6 volt and the voltage at this inverting terminal is equal to 2 volt. So as you can see this V plus is greater than V minus and therefore initially the output of the comparator was high that is equal to plus 5 volt. Now at t is equal to 0, this switch was opened and therefore now this capacitor will discharge through this resistor. That means gradually the voltage at this non inverting terminal will reduce and at one point when it becomes less than 2 volt then the output of the comparator will become low. So we need to find the time t at which the output of this comparator is getting low. So here, if we see the voltage across this capacitor, then this Vc of t can be given as this Vc of 0 times e to the power minus t divided by Rc. So basically, it is the capacitor discharge equation. So here initially, this Vc of 0 is equal to 25 divided by 6 volt. That means this Vc of t is equal to 25 divided by 6 times e to the power minus t divided by rc. So at t is equal to 0, this voltage across the capacitor is 25 divided by 6 volt, while at t is equal to infinity, it will be the 0 volt. Now let's say at some time t1, the voltage across the capacitor becomes 2 volt. That means this Vc of t becomes 2 volt. So here we need to find this time t1 at which this Vc of t becomes 2 volt. Because at that time, we will see the transition in the output of the comparator. So for that, we can write this equation as 2 volt that is equal to 25 divided by 6 times e to the power 
minus T1 divided by RC. So further if we simplify it, then we can write it as this 12 divided by 25 that is equal to e to the power minus t1 divided by rc or we can say that this t1 divided by rc is equal to natural log of this 25 divided by 12 that means t1 is equal to rc times natural log of this 25 divided by 12 so here the value of r is 5 kilo ohm while the value of c is equal to 0.1 microfarad and this natural log of 25 divided by 12 will come out as 0.733. That means this T1 is equal to this 0.5 millisecond times 0.733. So further if we calculate the value of this T1, then it will come out as 0.367 millisecond. That means at this time, the voltage at this non-inverting terminal will be same as the inverting terminal. And therefore, just after that, we will see the transition in the output voltage of this comparator. That means here, the output of the comparator will become low at the time t is equal to 0.367 millisecond.